Hello. How are you guys? Just let me give everyone five minutes just so everybody can join and get prepared. Okay, guys, so we're going to start. Oh, you're not hearing? Let me see. Can you hear me now? Today we're learning how to make chocolate covered strawberries. Are you guys able to hear me? Sounds good, thank you, hi. Okay, sounds good. So we'll start at 11.05. So I just wanna make sure that everybody has their strawberries, their candy melt, and then you can just use, I'm going to use this plate to put my strawberries on. And I'm also going to use a cup that I'm just going to melt my, straw, my chocolate in in the microwave. So we've all got our strawberries. And even if you don't have your strawberries today, at least you can follow along and then you can potentially make this in the future, maybe on a summer night, maybe for a barbecue, yeah. So I'm just going to grab a piece of paper towel and just put that down on my plate because I'm going to wash my strawberries. We'll begin in one minute. Sorry about that. Okay, we'll start in about a minute. So, my name is Shante. Um, I own the business called Authentic.Delights. I can add it in the caption. So I have a baking business and I pretty much just make things such as strawberry, chocolate covered strawberry, sorry. I make cakesicles, which is kind of like a big cake pop. I make things like a smash heart. I don't know if you guys have seen that before. I like to make cupcakes, decorated cupcakes, decorated cookies, and yeah, I'll put it in the caption below so you guys can check it out and you can see all the things that I like to bake. I love making cheesecakes, so do you guys have any favorite desserts?
Okay, so we'll get started. So first I'm gonna take my strawberries and I'm going to go by my sink. So my sink is right here. And I'm just gonna wash about three to four strawberries that I'm gonna dip. So what I like to do is I like to kind of pull this up and just wash the strawberries. You can use about cold to medium water. Just wash the strawberries. Make sure you get all Turn the water down a little bit. Yes, I actually have some healthy desserts that I do like to make as well. You can look on my page and I can tell you about those after. So I'm just washing the strawberries, just trying to get everything off. Strawberries. I'm gonna choose. I'm trying to choose the biggest strawberries so I can dip those ones. So I'm just placing them on my napkin and the plate over there. That's about four strawberries now that I've done. And then I'm gonna leave the rest for another time. So I just washed about four strawberries, as you can see in the plate. Chocolate cake, wow. So, what I'm gonna do is I have my napkin. I'm just gonna take this and dry off the strawberries. This is a very important step because water and ch melted chocolate will not stick together well. So it's important that we always dry off the strawberries and let them rest and dry off for a little bit. So I'm just gonna grab one more piece of paper towel just to speed up the process a little bit. Okay. So I'm just drying off my strawberries. And then once they're dry, whoops, I almost dropped one. Once they're dry, I'm just gonna put them onto the plate on this side. Sorry, I don't think you guys can see. There. And then, I'm just dry off the strawberries once again. Put them there. Okay, and then three, just one more strawberry to dry off, and then we should be good. Okay, so that's four strawberries that are all dried. And then I'm just going to take this piece of paper towel and throw it away, because it's all wet. So we have our four strawberries that are going to be dipped, and then we also have our candy melt. So this is the candy melt I chose. I'm just going to pour it into this cup right here, and I'll show you guys how much I pour. So, okay. so I poured about this much into a cup. You can pour more or less, I just, I'm going to pour just a little bit more. So that is how much I've poured into the cup. <laughs> Me too. So I've poured the strawberries into the cup. And then I'm just going to grab a spoon. 
to mix the strawberries because we're gonna put the strawberries in the microwave for about 30 seconds and then we'll take them out and mix them because if you leave them in for the entire two minutes or so they'll burn the chocolate will burn so i just put it in this cup i'm gonna make put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and then i'm gonna stop and mix it and then i'll put it back so as you guys can see i put my microwave on 30 seconds and i'm gonna start it so i have my spoon Those strawberries. Yeah. Me too. I really like when they're the deep red color. Oh, and thank you. So, 30 seconds has ended. So, if we can look at the chocolate. It's not fully melted yet, but we just need to stir it so it b doesn't burn. So I'm just going to take it, spoon, and stir it around. As you can see, it's starting to melt, but it hasn't melted fully yet. But if we don't stir it around, it will burn. And then once the chocolate burns, it will not stick to your strawberries. So just take a little couple of seconds and just stir it around. You can do this in a bowl, you can do this in a cup, it's up to you. It's whatever you choose to use. See, you can see that the chocolate is melted down a little bit. And then I'm just going to scrape the edge off of my spoon. That's a little bit of chocolate that's just melted. And then I'm going to put it back in for 30 seconds. And... So another 30 seconds, it's being put on, how do I put the camera? It's in the microwave for another 30 seconds. And then we're gonna take it out and stir it again. take this out it's melted down a little bit more and I'm just gonna look it's stirring down just a little bit better so I think my chocolate is almost melted so it's a little bit thick as you can see we want it to be a little bit smoother so we're just gonna stir it and then I think I'll put it in for about 10 to 15 more seconds so that it can just melt down. Yes, yeah, so I find that white chocolate also tastes a little bit more like vanilla. Usually I use white chocolate when I'm going to add things like food coloring and just in case, or when I do marbled strawberries and people want things like a red and white mixture or blue and white mixture. It's easier to add the colors and make fun colors with. So you can also do this. You don't have to use candy melts. You can also use like the chocolate chips. But I find it easier to use candy melts and I think they taste a little bit better. So we're just going to put it in for about... This is how it looks. We're just going to put it in for about 15 more seconds. And then it should be ready. We want to be very careful not to burn the chocolate. So I think maybe about 10 to 15 seconds just to make it a little bit smoother would be sufficient. So we have it in for 10 seconds. Oops, sorry, my phone is falling. And I'm just gonna take it out and now it should be ready. So now I'm just gonna mix it one more time. And as you can see, we have a little bit more of a smooth consistency. I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. Thank you so much. 
So I'm just gonna move back over here where the strawberries are. And I've mixed up my chocolate just a little bit more. And just because I've used a deeper container, I'm going to put them into skewers. Skewers. <laughs> I'm just going to place that spoon right there. <laughs> I know. And I'm just going to use a skewer. You can, if you use a deep container, you can use something like a toothpick. I just prefer to use skewers because they're a little bit deeper. And I'm just going to use it and stick it into the strawberry, just into the middle. Ooh, went a little bit too deep there. And... I'm gonna put this in the middle. I want you guys to be able to see. So here's the chocolate. And you wanna try your best to just get all of these up as high as possible because you don't wanna mix these in there. And you can tilt it to the side just a little bit. Just let the chocolate cool down just a little because it is a little bit hot just because it's been in the microwave for about a little. As you can see, the consistency is like really smooth, and that's exactly what we want. So all you do is you just take the strawberry and you dip it in the chocolate, turn it around, dip this side, dip this side. And you can even just, if you wanted, you could dip the entire thing and have it kind of like this. And then you'll see the strawberry coming out. You just shake off the excess. And you can even dip it again. I like to kind of double dip the strawberry just so it has enough covering. And kind of just have them and just kind of circle it around. You can use your hand, you don't have to use a screw. And you just kind of let the excess drip off. So when you make the excess drip off, you just see this coming out. And once majority of the excess chocolate has dripped off, you can just there you have your first chocolate covered strawberry. And all you do is you just slide it gently off the skewer. And there you have your first chocolate covered strawberry. Okay, and the next thing that we wanna do is just repeat the process. So I like to just mix up the chocolate just a little bit. And we can repeat the process. So once again, we have our strawberry and we put the, well, okay, I'll do it one with my hand just so you guys can see. You don't have to use the skewer. I just use it to make it a little bit easier. So all I'm doing is picking up all of the green leafy part and I'm gonna tilt my cup just a little bit and I'm just going to dip the strawberry in. Just dip it on each side. And then you just let the excess drip off. And we have another chocolate covered strawberry. So your hands might get a little bit messy. That's why I like to do the skewers. And usually I do have on gloves, but this does get a little bit of chocolate on your hand. So I'm just gonna do one more with the skewer. You can even use a toothpick if you want, if you choose to. But I'm just gonna do one more with the skewer. Poke it in. We have the strawberry. Oh, I need to mix it. So I'm just gonna mix it a little bit. 
and kind of tilt the cup so I have this the chocolate on this side so I can easily just dip it in so I've got my strawberry put and I just dip it in the chocolate just like that very easy just kind of get all the way up as high as you can And there's a chocolate covered strawberry. Just kind of wiggle it around just so you can get the excess off. And you can dip it once again if you wanna get it a little bit more covered. Just because I'm using white chocolate, I like to double dip it because the white chocolate can sometimes be a little bit transparent. And there you go, just wipe off the edge. And there's one more chocolate covered strawberry. And just slide it off and let it rest on the plate. So oftentimes I do let them rest because you have to let the chocolate dry. If you want to eat it too, if you just want to eat the ch um, chocolate covered strawberry while it's wet, you can do that. But usually I let the chocolate dry on the plate. So once again, I'm just going to mix my chocolate and there's my chocolate inside there just a little bit left and you just grab the green parts and you dip your chocolate your strawberry inside the chocolate just twirl it around and allow for it to get a lot of chocolate on it. If you like a lot of chocolate, you can double dip it. It's up to you. If you want a little minimal, a minimal amount of chocolate, you don't have to double dip it. Yes, I love when it when it hardens on after. <laughs> that way you can also design it. But if you're going to add things like sprinkles, it's best to do it while the chocolate is wet. So I'm just dipping it once again. And letting the chocolate drip off. So the next thing you do is you just kind of dip the end. Oops, I made a little mistake. And it's okay if you make mistakes. So this is the strawberry and we just place it down here. Give me one second guys. I'm going to read the comments in a second. I'm just trying to get all the strawberries good. All right. So you might have a little bit of excess strawberry um, chocolate. And what you can do with that is you can either make a few more strawberries or you can also make other things so I have molds that I could use and I would just make it into a butterfly or something like that and this is how our strawberries have come out a little bit of the excess chocolate is going to be melting off the bottom and that's okay they're gonna dry very soon so this one should almost be dry as this is one of the these are the first two that we did and this is the third and fourth, so they should be done very soon. I'm just going to wash off my hands in the meanwhile. And then I will read the comments. drying my hands and this is the chocolate covered strawberry so with the excess chocolate I'm just gonna dip actually yeah I'm gonna dip I'm gonna just dry off one more strawberry and then I'll just dip that as well just so that none goes to waste
Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I've tried off one more. I'm gonna put the skewer in. Yes, Terry, just give me one second. Just give me one second. I'm just gonna finish doing the strawberries and I can add you. So this is the last strawberry that I'm dipping. And I don't really have a lot of chocolate, so I'm just going to continue to add a chocolate on the sides and just kind of lean it over, or sorry, tilt it over just to get the most chocolate on it, just because I don't have a lot of chocolate left in here. And that's our last chocolate covered strawberry. So we're just gonna do, I'm just gonna double dip it so that all the sides are covered. And just let it drip around. Okay, and that's our last chocolate covered strawberry. And I hope that all of your strawberries are also dried. I think these ones are dried. Yep, this one has now dried here. It's a little wet on the sides. It usually takes just about two to five minutes. Sometimes I like to put them in the fridge. But this is my, oops, wait, just take out this one. These are my chocolate covered strawberries. And I hope that you guys can share your pictures with me. Um, if you followed along on Authentic, uh, you can send them to my Instagram or to this Instagram. And I would, gl I would really love to see them. And I will probably be reposting them. Thank you guys so much for following along. And I just want to know if you guys had any questions about the process or if there's anything that confused you and i'll just go through the comments and i'll just be looking through the comments now yes i can add you to the live i've accepted it hi hi how are, how are you? you i'm good how are you good um what 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 was your name my name's Shantae. What's your name? My name's uh, Sterling. Nice to meet you, Sterling. Yep. Did what? you follow along with the chocolate covered strawberries? Yes, I did. Did you Did you try making any? Uh, no. But can we make them? Make them? Can we? Can we? Uh, can we make them together one day? Yeah, you can make some strawberries one day. Can we do it on uh, Instagram? Me, and you. Maybe on Instagram, yep. Yeah. You can just you can follow my page and we can figure it out. I'm Shanti. I like I I like to play I like to play catch. You like to play catch? Okay. I'm can I I'm can I I'm can I can I show you my uh, green ball? Sure. See? Wow. That's a big ball! Wow, cool. And can can we put can we play can we play cards together one day? Maybe yeah, maybe we can do that. Oh, uh, but what what can we play? I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Uh, uh, Chanti. Yeah. Do you have FaceTime on your Instagram by any chance? Um, no, I don't. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Did you enjoy watching me teach you guys how to make strawberries? Yeah. Do you think you're going to try them? Yes. Cool. Are you thinking about making any other desserts? Uh, what can we make? 
Uh, what's your favorite dessert? I like uh, ice cream. You like ice cream? Anything yeah. else? Um, I Do like. I, I like uh, strawberries. Strawberries? And I made that 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 uh, smoothies. And smoothies, me too. What's your favorite smoothie? Uh, vanilla. Cool. Can we can, can we do a live video on together, me and yeah, you one day? Okay. We can do that one day. When? Uh, we can schedule it. Okay. How are we gonna schedule it? You can message me on my Instagram and we'll schedule it. Do you have Instagram? Yeah. I'll put it I'll put it in the in the comments, okay? Okay. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Okay. All right. Bye. Nice talking to you. Yep. Okay, I just want to thank you guys for watching and following along and commenting. I hope you guys really enjoyed learning how to make chocolate covered strawberries. And I hope you guys are able to use this um, tutorial one day, even if you haven't done it today. And I hope that you can use it during the summer, maybe during barbecues or family events or even just on a movie night with your family. And I hope you guys enjoyed. So I'm just going to put my, I put my Instagram in the caption. So you can always message me if you need orders done, if you need chocolate covered strawberries or any other desserts. I'm available all summer and I have a lot of promos coming. Thank you so much for following along. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy your day. Thank you. Thank you.